Peril in the Palace. This is the third book in the Imagination Station series. Today we're reading Chapter 5, Marco Polo. The group of Mongol warriors saw the golden tablet. Ooh, they said. Then the tall man said, Kublai Khan gave my family this tablet. With it, he has given me his authority. I order you to leave the children unharmed. The tall man leaned his head toward the children. His blue hat now flopped sideways. Go into the gur, he whispered. The what? Patrick asked. He motioned toward the tent house. There, he said. I'll be right behind you. The cousins obeyed quickly. They didn't want to stay outside with the angry warriors. When they entered the tent, Patrick and Beth couldn't see very well. There was only a dim light from a small fire in the center of the tent. The Gurr's wall were made from wool felt. They were decorated with colorful wool rugs. Wood beams held up the roof. Just as the tall man had said, he followed them inside. Beth and Patrick saw him tuck the golden tablet into his tunic. Then he put his hands on his hips. He looked straight at the cousins. What are you doing in the middle of the Mongolian desert? He asked. The cousins looked at each other. Neither knew how to answer. The man eyed them. Where did you come from? How did you get here? Beth heard Patrick swallow hard. She knew what he was thinking. Would this man believe them if they told him the truth? Beth decided to try. We're here because of an English knight, she said. He sent us to meet Kublai Khan. A knight from England? The man asked. He frowned. Is he planning a crusade against the Mongols? What's a crusade? Patrick asked. The young man gave Patrick a curious look. You haven't heard of the crusades? The man asked. He touched two fingers to his forehead lightly. Beth sighed. A crusade is a religious war, she said to Patrick. Knights did do a lot of fighting in the Holy Land. Our friend the knight sent us on an errand, not a crusade. The man said, and what is your errand? We need to find a golden tablet, said Patrick, like the one you have. Ah, that is a difficult errand. Only someone in the Khan's family may give you a golden tablet. He took the tablet out and tapped it. This one was given to my father and uncle when they came here eight years ago. Beth studied the man more carefully. Where are you from, she asked. The man took off his blue hat. He gave Beth a slight bow. I come from Italy, he said. Italy is far away, Patrick said. The man nodded and said, I traveled three years to get here. Three years, Patrick said. Why did it take so long? The man looked at him with a small smile. I don't know how to make boats, camels, or horses go any faster, he said. It's not like they have airplanes, Beth said softly to Patrick. Patrick flushed with embarrassment. Kublai Khan's men met me in the desert, he said. They will bring me to the great Khan. I have gifts for him. We have gifts for Kublai Khan too, Beth said. Then come with me, the man said. He smiled. It would be wise for us to stick together. My name is Beth, she said. This is my cousin Patrick. The man gave Beth and Patrick a little bow. He clicked his boot heels and said, I am Marco Polo. And we'll read chapter six next time. Until then, as Tigger says, ta-ta for now. Thanks for listening. Love you guys. Bye-bye.